adjectives. Happy anniversary, Ali. Thanks. Will you come with me to that big bakery to buy a beautiful and tasty cake for my 14th anniversary? Sure. That's a great place. I tried a few muffins there some time ago and they were delicious. Let's go then. In the conversation, Ashley and Ali have used several words that describe and modify the adjectives. The words happy, that, big, beautiful, tasty, 14th, great, few, some, delicious are examples of adjectives. Definition An adjective is a word that describes, point out, tells the quantity, number, possession or order of a noun or a pronoun. An adjective modifies a noun or adds something to its meaning. Let us look at a few sentences. Veena is a good friend. Those boys did not have any money. There are hundred rupees in my purse. In the first sentence, good is an adjective as it tells Veena's quality. In the next sentence, those and any are adjectives. Those points out which boys are meant and any shows the quantity of money they had. In the last sentence, hundred and my are adjectives. Hundred tells how many rupees and my adds something to the noun purse by telling whom it belongs to. Here is a list of some adjectives. Quality, brave, decorative. Quantity, some, much. Number, twelve, first. Demonstrative, this, these. Possessive, his, hers. Interrogative, whose, which. Adjective ending. The roses are so beautiful. Yes, they look gorgeous. A bouquet of fabulous roses from the garden would make a delightful gift. Yes, it would be flawless and stunning. Wouldn't a garland made of these look amazing too? It surely will. But don't be careless in plucking them as they have thorns. In this conversation, the girls have used certain words for describing various items made from roses. These can be identified and grouped on the basis of their endings. The words beautiful, gorgeous, fabulous, delightful, flawless, stunning, amazing, careless are examples of adjectives that can be grouped according to their endings. Definition Adjectives are describing words and different words can be used to describe a quality or different qualities. Many of these words can be grouped together on the basis of their endings. Let us look at a few sentences. Geeta is an exceptional swimmer. Amar felt that the target was achievable. There is a sensible solution to the problem. In the first sentence, exceptional belongs to the group of adjectives ending with AL like sensational, external. In the next sentence, achievable belongs to the group of adjectives ending with able like remarkable, likeable. In the third sentence, sensible belongs to the group of adjectives ending with able like edible, gullible. Here is a list of some similar adjectives ending. Able, dependable, amiable, some, handsome, loathsome, 
एक बेसिक टेरिफिक इव सेंसिटिव अट्रैक्टिव ली लवली फ्रेंडली kinds of adjectives this shop has beautiful show pieces i want to buy some stuff for my drawing room how many items do you want to buy i will buy four pieces what color are the walls of your drawing room the color of the walls is pink in the conversation atul and ritu have used different words to tell about the quality quantity number possession about a specific or many objects the words this beautiful some my many four what your pink are examples of different kinds of adjectives definition adjective of quality speaks about the quality that a noun possesses adjective of quantity refers to how much a thing is taken into account adjective of number refers to how many of a thing is being spoken about or the order of a thing possessive adjective shows to whom a thing belongs demonstrative adjective points out to a specific thing or things interrogative adjective asks a question and is followed by a noun or pronoun let us look at few sentences that bag has four oranges the first boy in the line is my brother i have to buy little sugar from the new shop which pen do you want in the first sentence that is demonstrative adjective since it points at noun bag and four is adjective of number since it speaks about how many in the next sentence first is adjective of number since it tells the order in which the boy is standing and my is possessive adjective since it shows possession in the third sentence little shows quantity and so is adjective of quantity while new refers to a quality and so is adjective of quality in the last sentence which asks a question about the noun pen and is interrogative adjective here is a list of some different kinds of adjectives adjective of quality large foolish ripe adjective of quantity much all enough adjective of number 5 several third demonstrative adjective these those such possessive adjective his her there interrogative adjective what which whose comparison of adjectives i want to buy an interesting book i think this is good i suggest you buy that it is more interesting and better than the one you have chosen i doubt that my closest friend told me that this is the best book she has read and most interesting I will also read it then. In the conversation, Sherry and Justin have used various adjectives for comparing a book and other nouns.
using different degrees of comparison. The words interesting, good, more interesting, better, closest, best, most interesting are examples of different kinds of comparisons in adjectives. Definition Adjectives are used to make comparisons. There are three kinds of comparisons and adjectives change form accordingly. The positive degree. This speaks simply of the presence of a quality in a noun. The comparative degree. This is used to make comparisons between two nouns. The superlative degree. This speaks of the highest degree or best quality and compares more than two things. Let us look at a few sentences. Dinah is a smart girl. Mary is smarter than Dinah. Mary is the smartest of all. In the first sentence, smart is positive degree of comparisons since it refers to only the presence of the quality of being smart. In the next sentence, smarter is the comparative degree as it helps in comparing Mary and Dinah and stating that Mary has more quality of smartness than Dinah. In the third sentence, smartest is a superlative degree since it tells that Mary has the highest degree of quality of smartness. Here is a list of some comparisons in adjectives. Positive degree, tall, bad, beautiful. Comparative degree, taller, worse, more beautiful. Superlative degree, tallest, worst, most beautiful.